I'm Jake Higgins with the Sports Geek. This is the Sports Betting Glossary, and this video is talking about the middle. It sounds like an easy term, but is it a smart play? Before I hop in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more sports betting content like this. The middle is when a better has placed a wager on both sides of a game, and there's the opportunity that both bets will win. This can be done with alternate spreads and a pregame line, or pregame lines versus a live line. The goal with betting the middle is that at least one bet will win, but there's a chance that both bets can win. An example of a middle bet would be the spread in a football game. So let's say the New York Giants are hosting the Dallas Cowboys and the Giants are favored by three points. In this example, I'm going to take the Giants minus three before the game. And let's say the Giants on the first drive or one of the first drives, they go and they score a touchdown and are up seven to zero. The line may adjust to being maybe, I don't know, Giants minus six. And let's say that happens. So I go and I take the other side, Cowboys plus six. So I have a bet on Giants minus three and Cowboys plus six. That gives me the middle where there is a chance I could win both those bets. If the Giants win by more than three points, I would win the Giants bet. But if the Cowboys are able to cover their plus six bet as well, then I would win. Meaning if the Giants would win by four or five points, then I cover both of my bets. But then I'm guaranteed to at least cover one bet. Also, think of garbage time. Let's say this is true garbage time. The Giants are up 35-7 to seven in the fourth quarter. So there's really no chance the Cowboys come back in this game. A live line could maybe be 23 and a half points, maybe protecting themselves from like a field goal or something like that. Let's say I pick the Cowboys at plus 24. Then the Cowboys go and score one or two touchdowns. I would have a large window between my Giants minus three and that Cowboys plus 24 to be able to cover both of my bets. Now, the middle may not always be a smart play, though, because if we're talking about the spread, then sportsbooks typically have those listed at minus 110 odds. And that means you need to win both bets in order to secure a profit. Only one bet winning means that you would lose a little bit of money. You wouldn't lose a full stake, but you would lose some. So overall, as a long-term option, the middle really isn't a successful betting strategy because you're going to be losing a little at a time because more often than not, you're going to win one of your two bets. You're not going to win both. If you win both, you secure a pretty good profit though. So it is something that you can look at in the right moment, but it's a very much case-by-case -case basis here. Let me know, have you been successful by betting the middle? Let me know in the comments and don't be afraid. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more sports betting content like this. For the Sports Geek, I'm Jake Higgins. I'll see you next time.